Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Todd. And today we're not gonna actually cook anything. I'm just gonna break out the bar that I built out of pallets, give you a walk around, kinda let you see uh, how I made it. And then I'm gonna check to see if my Camp Chef grill top needs to be uh, cleaned up. Okay, here's my bar. So, as you can see, I've made it out of pallets. And um, these pallets I actually got from uh, Home Depot when I uh, had my paver system in, uh, delivered uh, last year. And so I just started collecting pallets. And, um, and then one day before a, a house party we had, I uh, made this bar here. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little closer shot of it. Um, the front is one whole pallet, and um, and I had some leftover uh, medium density fiber boards and MDF there. Um, you know, it's it's pretty thick. I don't know, maybe it's an inch and a half, but <laughs> it's really heavy. The piece was a lot longer, uh, so we we sliced it off, and um, so one full pallet on the front. And then on the sides, I uh, split a couple pallets in half and used uh, three inch decking screws to kind of attach them. Uh, and then up here, um, used uh, some scrap lumber to kind of make a shelf. Now you've seen me use this bar in uh, a few Philly cheesesteak videos and few other videos where I'm using the griddle. Um, but usually what I do, it, what I have been doing is taking the Camp Chef on its own legs. You know, like they, they're camping stoves, so they come with four legs and I usually set it down and then move the bar in on it. Um, but in this case, I wanted uh, something different. As you can see, I, I kind of built a shelf here for it. Um, also, I have some castering wheels down there that uh, do have locks and uh, you can just barely see them but you know this bar pretty much lives on my patio so you know they don't have to be very, very big um get shot from the other side um so that's that's basically the bar um let me spin it around and show you the other side So as you can see, it's really not that difficult to turn around. It kind of feels top heavy, but it's really not. Uh, the weight is uh, sent through these uprights that I built here. And uh, let me show you a close up. So I built this shelf here. Uh, basically, I took some two by fours and I sistered them up to the pallets themselves, uh, built a little shelf. And then using some uh, furniture grade plywood, um, I built this little sliding shelf um, and then I took some porcelain tiles that uh, look like wood to uh, line the uh, top of the shelf and, uh, and I could slide it all out uh, eh, probably about another six inches and uh, kind of get uh, you know the griddle clear of the shelf here let me show you. So uh, that's about as far as I want to go. And uh, I'm gonna just slide this out a little bit further. So there's a better shot of that Camp Chef backsplash there. And uh, you kind of see the two by four inserts there that I use to uh, keep that shelf from falling out. And uh, that extends about that far plenty of clearance on the back, you know, so, you know, it doesn't really receive too much heat on that wood there. Let me show you the bottom a little bit better. There you go. So as you can see, that weight's carried through right into the body of the pallets, right into those casters. Um, now I got nice three inch 
steel decking screws going through there, so that's not going nowhere. Um, and again, as you can see, as you can see the uh, tile's got plenty of clearance there, ceramic tile, and trust me, I've cooked on this, it's gotten hot, and uh, nothing gets down into uh, to that wood there. And so far it hasn't cracked. There we go, and there's another shot of uh, my little condiment shelf and the actual bar top here. So this could basically pull double duty, you know, this camp chef, you know, I could just lift it off and there's another shelf for, for big bottles uh, down there and uh, shakers, smaller bottles right there. And then uh, the bar that, you know, people can pull up the bar stool to right there. Pretty cool, huh? But what I wanted to show you today is, uh, is this mess right here. A little bit of surface rust, a little bit of flaking of that protective uh, coating there that uh, I worked so hard to build up and I really uh, kind of neglected it. So I'm gonna clean this up and uh, show you how I do it. Okay, uh, before we get started, um, I wanted to turn on the uh, Camp Chef. Now this doesn't have a, its own lighter, so uh, you got to turn them on the light, put a, a lighter through that hole there. And I got them going pretty good right now. So that's going to heat up this uh, grill top. So I got it on high right now. And here's some of the things that I'm going to use. Um, some black gloves. I'm going to use a scraper first to scrape off all the rust and the particles on here. That's kind of why I'm heating it up. I'm not going to use any water. Water is really what's causing all this rust. So I'm just going to make sure I scrape it first with uh, you know, any old metal scraper um, and get all these uh, shavings off. Uh, then after that, I'm going to take just any kind of oil. You can take a grill stone, uh, but in my case, I'm just going to use some uh, steel wool and uh, go after some of this rust with some oil. And then um, once all that rust is steel wooled out, um, I'm going to wipe it clean until those white rags are uh, coming off with no rust. Um, then once that surface is good, uh, I'm gonna go with a medium heat and spread some oil, in this case, extra virgin olive oil, uh, nice and evenly. I'm gonna use a uh, rolled up paper towel and evenly spread that out. Now you could use some flaxseed oil if you have some, I don't have any. So I'll just uh, extra virgin olive oil will do just fine. Um, and between coatings, I'm gonna let the surface cool down, heat it up again, spread some more oil. And what we're trying to do is create that nice shiny black surface here. So what I'm waiting for to happen now is the oil to start smoking. And when it stops smoking, you're gonna see that this is turned color and then I'm gonna shut it off and let it completely cool down. Then I'm gonna repeat that step at least two more times. All right guys, thanks for sticking around. I hope you uh, learned something. Um, and if you got some tips about uh, seasoning these Camp Chef griddles, uh, leave a comment down in the description and uh, we'll talk to you later.